Arnab Goswami on the debate at 10 powered by Royal Ranthambore Ladies and gentlemen the hijab issue was settled yesterday the high court heard everyone applied the law delivered a verdict but today pfi and company are calling for bans they want town cities states to shut down they want ordinary citizens to suffer they don't accept the court it seems let's debate within 24 hours of a 129 page verdict by the karnataka high court protests have commenced calls for bans against a court order are being issued hijab ke silsile mein high court ke afsosnak faisle par kal baroz e jumeraat 17 march 2022 puri riyasat e karnatak mein mukammal ek din ke pur aman band ka elan hum karte hain The government is urging for calm now that the judicial position is clear. The six girls, they themselves had gone before the high court. When high court has clearly given their judgment, our government is real will abide by whatever the Supreme Court says. But the loss they make out by not attending the classes cannot be fulfilled by anyone. So I require the girls to attend the classes and let them wait for the Supreme Court judgment. But some are looking to provoke. So Islam me parde ka hook ma hai. Iska high court ye kehne se high court ko ham nahi mante is mamle me ham Islam ko mante. Islam ne kaha ki parda karna hai aur to ko ham aap ko kahenge ki aap apne bachon ko un kalijon me na bheje. जहाँ पर उनको बेपर्दगी सिखाई जा रही हो आप अपने कॉलेज शुरू करें द हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन पेज कर्नाटका हाईकोर्ट ऑर्डर वॉज डिलीवर्ड आफ्टर अ मैराथन हियरिंग ऑफ इलेवन डेज एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री आवर्स आफ्टर दैट द पिटिशनर्स हैव अ राइट इफ दे आर अग्रीव टू मूव द अपेक्स कोर्ट द हाइस्ट कोर्ट ऑफ द कंट्री विच दे ऑलरेडी डेड ये एंड टूडे द केस केम आर फॉर मैंशनिंग बिफोर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हाउ एवर नाउ प्रोटेस्ट सीम टू बी इलीगल because they are trying to undermine the process of the court they are trying to undermine the judiciary and can be seen as contempt of court i could have thought they could listen to the anti social activities who are provoking these silly issues and provoking students and misusing and misleading them states cannot be held to ransom if verdicts don't align with the demands of a lobby It is time to put a stop to the pattern to target the judiciary and bring states to a standstill. Let's debate. Okay, we have Shahzad Punawala, Rashmi Savant. Shahzad Punawala of the BJP. Rashmi Savant is an activist. Subuhi Khan, advocate and activist. Indrajit Lankesh on one side. and i must say we have a very serious situation today we have a group of people in this country we who say we don't accept the courts so it's very it's fundamentally just let's take a two steps back and say how dangerous is this even if it doesn't matter the fact that people are openly saying courts don't matter in this country is tantamount to saying constitution doesn't matter is can tantamount to saying law does not matter right is tantamount to saying we have a different system if you are a muslim we will not we expect the muslim community not to respect the courts of course nobody from the muslim community will listen to them which is why waris pathan's party last time uh, got less votes in uttar pradesh than nota it's a it's a it's a record less than nota that's how badly the party did so i just want to tell you saida falak and mohammad tawseef rehman said aslam and nilofar masood that nothing is going to come out of this you have to respect the court i'm opening the debate today between rashmi savant and saida falak you see <coughs> saida falak nothing is going to come by doing buns hmm. by getting 50 people mostly men you know to do a sit in protest by blocking a road all of this tamasha has to stop the court verdict has happened if you want to appeal go to the supreme court 
and the Supreme Court is anyway going to hear you. So that's it. Okay. Now, if you want to be sentimentally attached to this issue and say, no, no, we want to create trouble, you can create trouble. You can create trouble, but nothing is going to come out of it. Yes, we either. Nothing, are not nothing is going to come any out. Trouble. We are not creating any trouble. Counter protest was started by those uh, goons. Who provoked the uh, who provoked Muskan by wearing saffron shawls? So counter protest was started by them. We are not making any trouble. We have full faith in our judiciary, and we will uh, now, now the Supreme Court will hear the uh, appeal, and we believe that inshallah decision will come in our favor. Okay, so then that's fine. What is this? Then why, if that is the case, Rashmi, then why are they doing buns? What is the logic of calling for buns? What is the logic of saying on 17th of March we will there will be a statewide bandhu? It doesn't because add up. Because the verdict is unacceptable. And That's unacceptable. just a way of putting, you know, yourself above the judiciary. That's just the way that one community has followed over and over to sort of assert itself over the judiciary. And I think that is the real threat to the secular fabric of our society. And it's 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 absolutely, you know, it's it's trying to stop. Uh, normal functioning of society by doing this and you know kind of trying to intimidate the society into giving into these demands that is what is happening yeah and, and that's that's the point but you know people like Saida don't accept the See, court everyone they don't accept the court they want to have it both ways we'll appeal in the court as well and no, we'll protest no, about court, we, you'll, you'll abuse the court, court outside well. and you'll say we there want to respect the woman court. judge on the panel and how, how, no, how, no, no, how much more fair can this process court? get we are disagreeing with the decision and we have full right to disagree with the decision. Yeah, who's saying you don't have a right? But you don't have any and right to call a ban on the subject right? like this. No, it's not. I think creating Everyone communal disharmony right is not a democratic right. right to protest. Every, uh, it is a democratic right. See, Saida, you it is, lost. It is not a democratic right to consider oneself above the judiciary and create unrest within society no, to, no, no. to we, assert we, that. No. It is not a democratic right. You cannot call we are not creating, creating unrest, unrest a democratic rights right. Are being violated. We are being targeted. Muslims are being targeted. Oh. There is no ban on uh, Tilak, Bindi, Pagadi, Kal Kalawa, Cross. There is no ban on anything. The ban is only on hijab. Our con we are being targeted. Our con Constitutional rights are being violated. That's why we are Which fighting. I went wrong. to school in Udupi. I went to school in Udupi, let me tell you. And none of the Muslim women felt that way. And I've been there for 23 years of my life. And if you feel this, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, that is not the ground reality there. This has not been the way. This is just a manufactured protest which happened of late. There was never any problem with following the uniform. This is about following the no, uniform of the no, college. No, 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 no. Those girls were wearing hijab You're still for such free a long to time. wear your hijab. All of a sudden, You're still free to wear your hijab started, out of the community. This is about those girls this is about hijab. respecting the school's uniform. Is this is not about India. this we is have been wearing it for many years. Girl, hijab wearing girls. Hijab-wearing girls for, for 22 years, the girls who went to that college in in, in Udupi have had no problem, you know, with following the uniform. No, this no, is no, just no, a no, recent no, problem. No, you can no, you can wear the hijab no, no, when it's no, allowed, no. but you know you have to follow the, uniform, the school uniform. It is just basic things. Not maintain uniformity. Everyone will maintain. You are telling exactly that. You are exactly telling that you don't want to follow uniformity. That you do not want to integrate with the society. That's what you're saying. And that is against the constitution of India. That you're you are, you are trying that you're, you're trying to say that you're about the law. That you do not want to be like the others, and you do not want to follow the same rules that the others want to follow. The, the hijab we're all is, following a uniform system when you go to school. I still remember when I went to school, and it's just two three years ago that I went to. I was still in school in Udupi, and we all followed the uniform. And I'm, I'm testament to the fact that this was okay, and this was standard accepted practice. This is just something new and out of the blue. And just a, a ruse to create disharmony in society. No, no, no. That not is it. You, you are lying. You are just I'm lying. lying. I'm not lying. I've been that for so those many those years. And why was this issue them. never in the news for so many years? Why was this never out there? Why is this just suddenly out there and because then the suddenly nobody wants to follow the school right? uniform? Because the hijab. The, why the, does, those MLAs have why, why do students recently, suddenly not right? want to follow the uniform system? The uniform system has always been there since the genesis the of the college. And this is just a new thing. And when the Karnataka High Court has clearly ruled 
You just know, one second. I, 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 I'd like to, to I'd like to just, can I come in Rashmi no, and Saida? No, no, Saida, no, no, Saida, no, no, a minute. No, Saida, no. Saida, just give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Saida, see, it's an issue of individual choice. And okay, let me explain okay. to you what I mean by an issue of individual choice. For example, it is your individual choice that earlier you never wore the hijab. And after, after joining the All India MIM and starting your political career, as you told me last time, in consonance with your political career, you started wearing the hijab. Probably you thought that wearing the hijab would be politically, you know, uh, the right thing for you to do. And it's, I, I'm not, I'm not passing judgment on it. Uh, it is entirely your choice. It is entirely your choice that before you joined politics, you didn't wear the hijab. After joining politics, you're wearing the hijab. It is your personal choice. It is your personal choice. You understand that? But the fact is right now, Shehzad is holding something up. Want to wear it now. Shehzad is holding something up right now. Shehzad, you know, I just want to say one thing tonight. I know you're holding something up. But, and, and what is you hear him? There is a 129-page verdict which answers all the questions. And it is a yes. gigantic shame. That a person, uh, that a person like Waris Patan, and I respect like a person like Waris Patan, does not respect the court before, I before, before. What are you holding up there? The, what are you holding up there? See, so what is what is there? See, holding up. Judgment. Shaz, what, what, what is, is sorry, I can, what is Shahzad holding up? So sorry. Allah what is Shahzad holding up? Go on. The, the two of you. That's what is Shahzad holding up? Go on, Shahzad. Go on. That, that was embarrassing, Arnab. Yes, yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. Ar was. Arnab, let me explain. Go on. Arnab, Arnab, let me explain. This is this is the picture of our dear sister Sayada Falak, who represented India in international karate. And there she is not wearing a hijab. Now that is her personal choice. But this is also another picture. Saida. You see, Arnab, you have PAN card, I have Aadhaar card, and these people have a victim card. But their victim card has been maxed out. Look, hijab keval bahana hai, inko dange lagwana hai, samvidhan samvidhan roj raat ko gana hai, par sharia court or sharia kanun lana hai. Look, these are the people who never believe the courts. They are always conditional, conditionally Saida. committed to the courts and the Tell constitution. You they you are talking about how right does it of become a pin card saying Mr. Goswami Saida was Falak ji, Please, please. Arnab, the constitution has given me a right. Uh, yeah, Arnab ji, the hijab, brigade, will, will, the hijab brigade, will they let me speak? Will the hijab brigade let me speak? Okay, Waris, Waris, you hear him and then come in. Waris, I'll give you full time after he finishes, one please. At a time. Waris, I'll give you full time after one he finishes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. See, look, Arnab, none of what I'm saying is out of my own uh, things. It is in the court order. The court order has said that there were some unseen hands trying to create social unrest. Those unseen hands and their seen agenda is today in front of your television screen. The court has said that there was brainwashing done by PFI, who was supporting the PFI, the Congress party, which allowed them a free march in Rajasthan. The Congress party leaders tried to use the hijab issue to spread communal ag and tried to misinform on uniform. Now, I just have one or two questions. Mr. Waris Pathan says it's about the choice of the woman. Sir, if it is about the choice of the woman, when the woman was given a choice by the Supreme Court in Shabanu, that she has the choice to take maintenance from her husband, why did you oppose it? Why did you oppose the court? When the woman was given a choice in Shaida Banu, that you have a choice to go ahead and take action on triple talaq if it is used against you, why did you, why did you stand against the right of choice of the woman? And today when the woman has been given a choice, hijab is not an essential part of Islam and Waris Pathan, Danga is not an essential part of your politics also. You please open your ears and today stop lecturing us about secularism. The your most party name contains M, M for Muslimin and you lecture and all of us for secularism. Canards. Why does he not speak about Arnab, no, allow me, allow what me. What is the lack? Why does Arnab go swami? Shazad, 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 Shahzad, Shahzad made several points. He spoke about Shah Banu, he spoke about Triple Talaq, but he forgot to mention about Sabari Mala also, which he should have mentioned. But no, they want to spread lies and canards. But we will definitely go there to the I'll Supreme Court. Sure. It is my fundamental right to agree or to disagree who's with the judgment. That and there are right. higher courts to correct no, 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 the judgment. No, no, who's taken away that fundamental right? That's a, that's a victim card right that you're playing. That's a, a victim protest. card. That's precisely what he spoke. One second, what is that's a victim card you're playing. You're behaving as if somebody is denying you the right to go before the Supreme Court of the country. Right the fact of the matter is, one minute, what is, listen to me. What is, what is, you got to listen to me. What is, one minute, what is, one minute, one minute, what is. Hold on, hold on, I want to say something to you. You hear me. See what is, see what is here. You play the victim card, I'll tell you why. Viewers, we will not let him play the victim card because the Chief Justice of, Chief Justice 
led bench heard the case for 11 days the verdict was not by a single judge bench it was a it was a larger bench including the chief justice and two other justices 11 days of hearing all the parties and all the positions you got to accept it please don't no don't play the victim card so he is he's playing the victim card so boy he's pulling the victim card majority does he's pulling the victim card we must not let him yes if the majoritarian people do this it is their Anna, culture i have a and bad thought today this, if you can please reduce the, the volume of paris patan that i am speaking my religion i can't shout today well, what just wait a minute so boy surah azab ayat 59 God Allah for Arwa Allah for Mata prophet kindly tell your women to protect themselves. So it is an essential part of a religion practice, and the court must okay, follow the finish, law. Let it be left you. to the ulemas okay. and the muftis who are experts in the Quran and the Islamic teachings. But what yeah. is the objection if I hold because protest, there is no Sharia law in the country? Protest, I'm not can the I objection? intervene? Can I please this amount because there is no Sharia law in the country. Simple. Am I not entitled to raise my voice? The constitution has given me a right. Yeah, no, move the no, 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 no. No, no, no. I'll tell you, I'll, uh, 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 what is, what is, uh, on that point, on that point, just uh, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, before you come in, uh, what is, you know what, just listen to me for one minute, listen, what is, why don't you, what is, just one minute. Don't snatch away my rights, Ardab Goswami. Don't yeah, take just away be my quiet for a minute. Rights, no, I won't yeah. snatch your rights away. But I will snatch your rights away if you continue to intervene. Now listen to me. In the Red Fort case, the court noted that it had laid down the law in the Shaheen Bagh protest case that the right to protest should not hamper the right to movement of the public. Okay. One, this is 11 marathon days, 23 hours, matter has been heard in entirety. And in the farm laws case, in the farm laws case, the court had said, where is the question of going on protest once a party has already approached the court challenging the validity of the laws? The bench further said that the petitioner should either challenge on the road or in the court. You can't do both. The and Supreme the Court said, you don't want to, you don't care, you don't care for the Supreme Court of the country. That's the tragedy about you. I want Subui to come into the debate. Subui is on the debate and, 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 and Subui is on the debate and Nilofar on the other side. Subui. No, 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 no. No, sir. We receive the Supreme Court, but I want... Okay, Varis Ji, ho gaya, ho gaya. Arnab, look at the way he's behaving. There is a saying in Hindi, dukhti rak par haat rakhna. This is exactly what this judgment has done. They are trying to just beat around the bush, but I will not let that happen today. I want to talk about the judgment. Kis wali dukti I really rakhpur? respect Subhi, the... May, may, may I ask you, kis wali dukti Ma'am, please don't intervene. Ma'am, don't intervene. Please may, have some courtesy can I, can to participate in a debate. Can I ask you, kis dukti rakhpur? First, let me finish. Nilufar, let her complete. Nilufar ji, let her complete. Nilufar ji, let Subhuhi complete. I'll complete after that. Let me finish, then you are free to ask as many questions as you want. Arnab, there is a unanimous judgment passed by a three judges bench of Karnataka High Court and we really respect that because it was need of the hour. The court has categorically explained two things. First, hijab or burqa or naqab is not an essential practice of Islam and only essential practices of any religion would be protected by the constitution. हो गई है कि रिलिजन के नाम पे आप कुछ भी कर सकते हैं और संविधान से हैं और संविधान का प्रोटेक्शन लेंगे। Another thing, High Court has mentioned not wearing a hijab will not make you a sinner. This is a very important point because it will have the following impact. First of all, young Muslims will start asking questions that there are so many things which are not essential in Islam, but we they are for do these things are forcefully imposed on us. So many illogical things. Music, dance, art, drawing, sketching, meditation, yoga, any practice which will make you happy, any practice which is inclusive, any practice which will make you at peace with yourself is haram. As per these so-called thekedars of Islam, they just want to make Muslim youth angry and aggressive so that they can be used as a mob to fulfill their dream of Islamic State. So now Muslims will start asking these questions that why this is being done in the name of our religion and who are the people who are doing this. What Another is, important is, thing, Arna, that is, not wearing hijab will not make you a sinner. This is a very, very deep and impactful statement because Muslims will understand that they are being played by using fear psychosis. Religion is used to instill fear in their mind so that they can be manipulated and controlled. 
we are not encouraged to become god loving i love there are, are several women sitting on your channel fearing. wearing hijab ask them did anybody god force them fearing. to wear yes i yes. have one question Because one question there are several who does not Muslim want to wear a hijab on your channel on the debate right now ask them did anybody force them to wear a hijab or they are wearing a hijab and then consent ask them this question you are using religion to control ask them this question right okay, now i'll ask one minute one minute one minute one minute one minute what what is before that before that before that so wait one minute what is what is what is what is what is one minute what is one minute one minute one minute i'm talking to what is again what is you are telling me to ask the women muslim women who are on the show one of whom has recently started wearing the hijab after joining politics i think she is a member of your party and immediately after joining politics she is wearing the hijab and the Did other nobody forced her yeah no nobody forced her but i want to ask you something can i ask you something can i ask you nobody did no my question to you varis is awesome my question is and i want i want indrajit lankesh to come in indrajit my counter question yes, to varis is did you ask me did you ask me ask the women ask the women did we force yes. them did we for did we did we seek their permission before saying you can say talaq 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 and throw them out of the house did you ask them then did you ask the women then when 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 nikah halal was misused did you ask the women then let me tell you did you ask the women then indrajit lankesh is on the debate indrajit indrajit and said aslam indrajit first of all rubbish can i come in first of just give me just give me 3 minutes Just give me three Arnab, minutes. Just give me Indrajit and in, Indrajit and Nilofaya. As Arnab, yes, Arnab like, Goswami, as you said, one can day I in my bench now? judgment, but a three bench, full bench judge. Can I come in, Arnab? Just, Justice Ruturaj Avasti, Justice maybe, Krishna Dixit. Maybe Arnab, then, I don't follow all the mandatory principles. There is a Muslim judge, principles. Justice Jai Panesh Mohi Dikkaji. Three bench, three bench judge. Have given a word date. Have given a word date. Wearing hijab is not an essential religious practice in Islam, and freedom of religion under Article 25. I just want to make another point here. As I said, that there is freedom of protest, a freedom of disagreement, but it is not the freedom. It is by by not agreeing to the judgment of the High Court. What about the secular character of our country? They are disrespecting, our they're disrespecting the Constitution. The, of what, what the three pillars of the three pillars, the three pillars of Constitution is legislative, the judiciary, of executive. They are directly insulting. They are directly insulting the Constitution. By directly insulting the Constitution, they are insulting Baba Sahib Ambedkar. You know, you need to see is, the core is, as, as one of the panelists said. India has some secret hands are unity, handling this so-called tolerance and protest. even secularism of religion. It is on the PFI and the SDPI, and it's not just PFI and SDPI. They are religion. supported the by the foreign is. hands, external forces, which have to be investigated. When my friend Prabhulin Nawadgi, the advocate general, gave me a sealed cover. Let me make my point. 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 Let me they have instigated this controversy you know when that has to be investigated now and there is i i completely on this dias from the beginning republic tv and me indrajit lankesh been saying that pfi and sdpi are directly involved in the hijab con controversy from the beginning and another another very sad point i want to make i want to finish you know how many girls today have missed exams you know how many girls from a from a place called yadgiri 25 girls shumoga 58 girls tumkur 10 girls hasan urpi bagalkot hubli chamrajnagar 35 girls muslim girls who have stopped going to take they have not taken exam today who is responsible for that you are responsible for that high society muslim 
people like you are responsible for that people like you who have politicized the matter suffering who have politicized the matter muskan are suffering you know in 2007 you wanted there was just one percent rise in the muslim class education okay indrajit 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 nilofa 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 yeah indrajit complete your point complete your point complete your point uh nilofa i am talking to you now indrajit one minute indrajit i am in the one minute nilofa i am talking to you now you see nilofa just see, hear enough, me uh, maybe okay make your enough. point first yeah go just on. give me a minute just go give on. me a minute yeah yeah maybe i don't follow all the mandatory principles which have been laid down by the islam but that never means it gives anybody a right or license to interfere uh, to take the advantage of this thing and interfere in my religion it never gives anybody license number so one number two it's very important you can wear a hijab and go to uh, disco you can go to hijab and have gone to the park after 40 after second amendment indian constitution you're talking about you need to enact the word preamble in the school. constitution there has but to be some it was held but school. it was held by so many authorities which have been no, laid down by the nilofa 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 one minute uh, one minute one minute i don't want to i don't want this to be quarrel some one minute indrajit be quiet i want i want to go back i want to go back for just a minute just a minute just a minute uh nilofa just just one minute let tempers come down a little bit tempers come down a little bit and i want to go to i want to go to rashmi once again now here's here's my counter view okay now what you said is anybody cannot interfere okay this is a very very big comment that you have made nilofa anybody cannot interfere that maybe, any maybe, allow, allow me nilofa why don't allow me allow me, allow me allow me nilofa allow me to complete what i am saying allow me to complete allow me to complete i said allow me to complete an organized system nilofa nilofa one minute nilofa nilofa now one minute okay i i am asking you a question okay that anybody who you are calling anybody no no one minute you say anybody you know who the anybody is anybody is chief justice ritu raj avasthi justice krishna s dikshit justice kas let me let me answer no 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 one minute you have not you don't even know my question how can you answer wait nilofa wait nilofa wait listen to the whole thing only after you cannot anticipate what i am saying let me complete what i am saying you'll understand it and then you respond okay okay right now you know for decades and decades and decades people waited for the ayodhya verdict hmm what if what if the community you call majority are in community what if the what if the hindu community said listen we don't care for this supreme court who are they we will build the temple anyway what would have happened nilufar hmm if this pattern of disrespecting courts continues they had been saying it they had been but they no no they Arnab what they do you mean they had been it. saying it it's on record everybody waited for it. the ayodhya verdict they including the interested parties you don't know the law you don't know the facts you must think before you speak before the verdict was you on the con i i think it's i think i think i think well in this nilofa nilofa i think you become blind to thinking now you know i think the constitution makers were very you know i i i think you're not being reasonable i let rashmi come in contempt of court and this is that that is what everybody is in by disrespecting the faith of uh, the judgment of the high court the karnataka high court all you are is in contempt all you are is in contempt and you have no locus of standing you do not speak for everyone there was also a muslim woman on the panel she is not to parda and i i think they everybody's voice has to be heard you do not speak for all muslim women and as a student on campus i could see 14 15 year old girls who did, did not want to you know wear uh, uh, hijab to school and this sort of protest is only forcing more girls out of you know familial pressures to do that so many girls are being forced to not go take exams because of this uh, environment no, that's been wrong. created due to this protest Nobody before everything forced. was fine Nobody everything was just fine here. instead they are being forced to remove you are wrong here you are no 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 no, no. i don't think 13 14 year old girls are Instead anywhere are you know interested in the politics or girls activism they are just interested in getting their education and the moment you put hijab over kitab is the day those girls their lives were ruined that is what no, you guys are doing no, no, no. all of you no, sitting no, no, no. here they all of you sitting here and i can relate to you as, as a young girl myself what you have done to putting hijab over kitab is ruined all of those girls lives i think a panelist before me just to be talking how many girls have not given exams just because of this protest sprouting up in coastal karnataka
Karnataka, which was otherwise yes. oblivious to this issue, which was otherwise oblivious to this yes, issue, and was comfortable following uniform in college campuses, because just because, because just because campus front decided to be active on these campuses, recruit students, and push them into this vicious cycle of, you know, into this vicious cycle of activism, they have had to pick up hijab over kitab, and that's why they are suffering because of just people like you. And you are going to be responsible for ruining their lives. Just imagine. And for and you are in court. And you are in contempt of the court. You are in contempt of the court in saying this. If you have an issue, go to the Supreme Court. But do not please imagine what they are going through. Because those are my roads. Because I am the one who is suffering. Rashmi, those are our lives that you are ruining. Those are our girls. Those are girls from our place. I, it's very personal to me. It's very personal yes. to me, and that is what you're ruining. You're ruining their lives. They're just 13, 14 year old girls, and the day you put hijab over kitab we is the day you ruin their everyone lives. Ha everyone has freedom of choice, and writing, no, not writing the exams is their own personal choice. We are not telling anyone to. No, write no, no, exams. no, no. I don't but think it has never been a choice. Everybody's, you know, taken. Everybody's had education. What do you mean by it's their choice? I mean. You, this like entire environment is confusing them. They are being pushed but they are not to, being allowed. to pick, pick it please, up. Please, please clear, clear this thing. Please, please clear your point. They want to write the exams, but they want to wear the hijab and write the exams, but they are not being Who allowed. Who decides that? You why lost suddenly? Me. Why suddenly? For years, for decades, uh, Saida, no one's had a problem. Saida, decades, Saida, no uh, Rashmi, problem. Rashmi, 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 one minute. Saida, Saida and Rashmi, Saida and Rashmi, Saida. Saida, one minute. One, just one minute. I'm bringing back. I'm bringing back uh, Shehzad on the debate, and I just, I will broad base it, and please don't intervene here. You see, yeah. let me yeah. say this now, viewers. There's a pattern playing out. There is a group, we, which says the courts of this country are majoritarian. They have directly put accusing fingers on the highest courts of the country. Every time a verdict happens, please put your finger down. Listen to me, and then I'll come to you, Sayed. Every time there is a verdict which they don't like, they start pushing this narrative. But nobody accepts it. What happened after the Ayodhya verdict? What happened after the Ayodhya verdict is that groups like the PFI, All India, MIM, they tried to provoke. Did anybody from the Muslim community get provoked? No. Arnab, you know, no, one minute, one minute. Well, let me give one or two examples, please. Absolutely no. When, Absolutely when no. the Supreme Court gave a verdict on Central Vista, yes. The Trinamool Congress said it is the saffronization of the judiciary. Mahua Maitra said that. They opposed the verdict on Prashant Bhushan's contempt of court. They called it dictatorship. They opposed the Rafael verdict. They cast aspersions on the judge. One minute. They did not agree with Chidambaram's bail plea when, and they questioned the judge in that case. Which means any time a verdict does not suit you, you will abuse the court. It's become a pattern. But we've seen through the pattern. Now make your point, please. No, yes. Absolutely not. No, do you? No, give a me a counter. Don't say absolutely, absolutely not. Give me a counter. Give me, give, me a give me a counter. Give me a real counter. Give me a real counter. Absolutely not is not a counter. No, absolutely not is not a counter. Yes, of course. Yeah. No, of course no, is also not a counter. That. Can you please allow me to speak? Can you now? please allow I'm me not, to speak is also not a counter. Highest respect for the judicial system in India. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Right, Oh. The, we have highest respect oh. for the judicial system in India. We have highest respect for the judicial system in India. But we are definitely, we have, we we are absolutely displeasured with the with the verdict which has come in yesterday. Now the Constitution of India has given us the right, has given us the right to go to the apex court. We will appeal in the apex court. Now we are saying. Ah, so yeah, appeal. Sympathy. Who's stopping you? In Islam, appeal. There's a verse called La Ikhra Fiddin. There's a verse called La Ikhra Fiddin, which Subhuhi. means there is no compulsion in Islam. Ah. Whether Subhuhi a girl wants to wear a hijab, yeah. it is totally up to her. So do not try to come and impose and become the saviors of Muslim women. The Muslim women feel empowered when they wear hijab. We have seen doctors, engineers, and there are so many people who wear hijab. Do not tell us, do not try to become the saviors of Islam. The women feel empowered. Were you the saviors of Islam when he was supporting and then triple talaq? Let me come to the Were you the saviors of Islam when he was supporting triple talaq? Who is? No, let Were me you? finish now. I'm asking no, you. No, listen, no, no, answer listen. the question. It let me finish. Is not an answer. Answer the question. Subui is on the debate. Subui. Subui is on the debate. 
Sir, I do not know your name, please. I got your point. Sir, that's not Mrs. Name. Yeah. For decades, these these girls have been wearing hijab. These girls have been wearing hijab for decades. Will you please let me speak? After the this is a subject related to Muslim women. At least let a Muslim woman speak. I have not finished yet, ma'am. Ma'am, I have not finished yet. I have not finished yet. Give me peaceful 30 seconds and after that... No, you will not. Okay, okay, just... Right? Anna will decide how many seconds you have. Decades. You've already taken These two minutes. These guys have been wearing hijab from decades. The right-wing ideology which has been pushed, the right-wing ideology... The, today, the, the okay, right you're, you're repeating yourself now. My next question is to my next question is to what is Patan? What is what is what is before Subui comes in? Before Subui comes in, I've always wanted I've always wanted to ask what is a question? What is what is one minute? Yeah, I, I one minute. Sir, one minute. Uh, Sayed, Sayed, what is what is you made this a very 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 major issue? Let me complete major issue in your very high decibel election campaign in Uttar Pradesh, okay? You did not get even one seat. Do you think the Muslim community has sent you a message? Mm -hmm. Hijab was your main issue, no? Subhu, it was his main issue, no? Yes. One seat he didn't get, he got less than nota, he Most still doesn't understand. Controversy, the BJP government. But today what I am No, 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 don't deny it, don't deny it now. Don't deny it, don't deny it. You don't have any other issue. You don't have any other issue. You don't have any other issue. First it was Shaheen Bagh, then it was the farmer's protest, then it was a void. So you created the hijab issue. Now if the hijab issue ends, what will you take next? Who are talking about the hijab? Who are following the constitution? You are not giving them the opportunity to make their point. Did you accept Why the Ayodhya verdict? So we ask him. So we ask him. Did he accept the Ayodhya verdict? Quality. Was he gracious about the Ayodhya verdict? No, ask him. Ask him. What were the statements made? What were the statements made? They are anti-constitution, anti-hijab, anti-Muslim. They have absolutely no faith in the judiciary. Subui, so the debate. Subui. Parallel judiciary. It is a people's mandate. Arna, Arna, the, 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 the gentleman who was speaking before we have said something like Laikra Fitin, that well. there is and no the compulsion in Islam. Is I want to speak about that, but only, only Mr. Varis Patan stop shouting. I will approach the Honorable Supreme Court. Who can stop me? Who can stop me? The only you can stop you yourself. Right Nobody is stopping you. You're like Putin. Only Putin can Anybody stop himself and you can stop yourself. I have a judgment court. as per your expectation. You will there. not even agree right with the judgment of the Supreme Court. Let the Sabar Mila judgment be delivered. Let the hijab controversy be settled by the order of the Supreme please, Court. Please, let the Supreme Anna, Court please, please let me speak I for a minute. A I just need one minute and do not allow me to speak for the entire debate. I have 59. Surya Azab says that we have to protect ourselves as a woman. So we are practicing that. Let us follow the religion. Thank you, thank you, Let thank you, Waris. Waris. Decide. Waris. Why are you in a hurry? Waris. But why this discrimination, Arnab Goswami? You are giving them Woman is strong enough to protect herself. You know, someone's got to understand. I'm, I'm letting Subui come into the debate. I'm letting Subui come into the debate. I'm letting Subui come into the debate. And, 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 and Arnab, let me make a short point. Yeah, Subui. Subui, Subui. Arnab, let me make a short point. Subui and Saida Falak, yeah. A very short and friendly point. Let me make a short point, Arnab. Make your point, make your okay, point. Okay, okay, after me, ma'am, after me. Anna, so there is a gentleman so who said so there so is so something so like... Just, before you start, let us, let us please, aspire to our neighbor. Say the Let me finish. No, you interrupted me earlier also. Please let me finish. I have a bad throat today. Please let me finish. Then you are free to speak. Like Rafidin, they are saying that Islam says like Rafidin. There is no compulsion in Islam. And I will tell you what they are doing with young kids in the name of... Islam. Islam is being missed throughout the world to promote, to make Islamic State. There is a tried and tested formula. The most important step they are doing is demarcation, the concept of separation and distinction, the, 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 the very weird kind of compulsion they are, they are practicing on young kids. Wrong. Like wrong. I said before, a Muslim wrong. kid cannot sing, dance. Do it sketch or drawing, no, yoga, no, meditation. No, no. We but are forget here them. fighting I for will tell you to rights and you are telling oh, brutal this, practices. What does this mean? Brutal so practices. What does this mean? Miss Zanita, I'm asking you one question. Rights. Have you heard about we are something just called female genital mutilation? We are Have you heard about something called Nilufa. female genital mutilation? It is happening in the name of Islam to with this? young kids. Kids as young as newborn babies. They are we cutting the genitals of young kids. Biggest human right violation in the name of Islam. Who close to the heart of everybody? Let us let us aspire. I again request That's you. Let us aspire to enable Muslim every citizen, like irrespective Muslim of religion, to enable every citizen to enjoy fully.
the life, the birth of life. No, no, no. Why don't you raise flag? You will not work in that direction. Not at all. You are going to work in that direction. Ma'am, we I'm want healthy environment where all the religions will be feel safe. Where all the people religion? following any religion will feel it? safe and secure. You think that is a practice allowed by Allah. You don't allow it. You don't allow it. Let us aspire. I am requesting you. I am requesting you. Let you start. Let you start. Ma'am, I am asking you a question. Let us be inspired by the sense of ethical, of ethical purpose in dealing with the fellowship. Girls let me let me inspire you to such brutality let in the name of Islam. Let you be the example. Ma'am, I am asking you a simple sense. question. You are being exposed on national TV. You are a woman. You must be having small girls in your house. For the so amical are you against female please genital mutilation? Are not see they are being exposed. You has know everything. You know what is happening in the name of Islam. People imagine. Are now imagine Allah who has made the most complicated human machine, who has made respiratory respiratory system, endocrine system, reproductive system, digestive system, nervous system. He forgot to cut the genitals of a human being. Are, are, this, are, are, is, this, this is what they are doing in the name of Islam. Are you expert in Islam? Why do you do May circumcision with small question? kids? Why do you do circumcision with newborn babies? Why do you do female genital mutilation with newborn babies? You know the Quran very well. You said that you know the Quran well. You have read it. Kindly read one verse from the Quran. Kindly read ayat of the Quran. One verse. Kindly read it. 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 Kindly read एक बार आयत अल कुर्सी पढ़ के दिखाओ मेरे को चलो विदाउट गोइंग थ्रू द गूगल जस्ट रीड आयत अल कुर्सी दस वर्ड एसेंशियल इंग्रेडिएंट ऑफ द कुरान रीड वन टाइम अदरवाइज डोंट गिव अस दिस ज्ञान डोंट गिव अस योर फालतू ज्ञान टेक दिस विद यू जवाब ले लीजिए डोंट गिव अस दिस ज्ञान गिव दिस फालतू ज्ञान विद यू यू शो दैट यू सेड यू आर चैंपियन ऑफ इस्लाम चैंपियन ऑफ कुरान ओके शो मी लैंग्वेज आयत अल कुर्सी पढ़ के सुनो आइडेंटिटी आई एम एन First, learn, Brutal listen, read, and then with young kids in the name of Islam. Don't try to preach answer Islam me, to us. Anna. He when has to answer this question that. today. No, I, I, I want to follow up. Uh, okay, very nice. Can I come in? Uh, what is, what is, what is, what is taking your, taking your argument forward? Taking your, uh, can I just taking your argument, taking your, taking your argument forward, Waris? Can you kindly tell me why you didn't win any seats in UP? Hijab was your biggest issue, no? Everyone's on. We want to know. Congress Don't we want to know? How much? Out of 403. Pardon me? Baspa, BSP was how much? It is the people's mandate and we accept why the people's mandate. Why did people reject your position? Everyone's on. No, no, no. Shahzad, why, why did people fighting, reject your position on hijab? We will kill. Uh, it's the yeah. people's love. They have given no, us no, no. more. Arna, will give us no, no, Arna, we will please, I have been waiting very this patiently. Can you please get this me in for the debate also? Yeah, please go in, go in. Because I can't be a mute spectator in your debate. Attack no, no, go on. BJP, you, the BJP. Okay, Arna, one second. What is, what is Shehzad is responding? Shehzad is responding, thank you. Mr. Varis, stop blaring like a loudspeaker, yeah, please. I am asking Sajad Punawala. Not only did they lose the seats, they lost their deposits on 99 seats. अरे यार अपना लाउड स्पीकर बंद करो दस सेकंड के लिए. Thank you, thank you. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Thank you. Thank you, Sajad. अरे ना अने मैं मैं हाँ मैं ऐसा है. See, look, yeah, look, they lost their deposits on 99 out of 100 seats. So they they not only did they not win the seat, they lost deposits there. But my fundamental question is this. This country is run not by Sharia, not by any religious code. It's run by the Samvidhan and the Constitution of India. And the courts of this country okay. under the Constitution decide what will be allowed, what will yes, not be allowed. So we should not get into this debate. Because so, 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 if you are going to go by Sharia and Islam. One second, Arna, Arna, please, can I continue? Are, I haven't can I said a word. Now the person who is shouting, Mr. Pasha, Mr. Pasha, Mr. Pasha, if we were if we were living by the Islamic court, one second, Arna. No, we don't live by the Islamic court. Be quiet, Wadi. The entire Hijabi Brigade. Shouting their lungs out. Switch, switch, switch. No, no. If we if we were to start living by the Islamic code and Sharia law, 
by the way mr pasha and mr varis pathan both would not be allowed to come on television because sharia doesn't allow you to come on television is that so if they want to live by this code they should live it fully secondly they keep saying we are pro choice these hijabis they say we are pro choice okay so let me ask them two questions one madrasas which are state funded where education is provided and state funds it will you allow a girl to wear jeans Two, if you are pro-choice, why were you against the choice of a woman to have triple talaq law with her to take action against her husband who gives a triple talaq for less salt than dal? If you are pro-choice, you should have gone by that. If you are a follower of the Supreme Court, you should have gone by that. This argument that these pro-hijabis say that we are pro-choice is bankham. They are only conditionally committed to the constitution. जब constitution संविधान इनको अपने पक्ष का बात सुनाता है, तो they are for it. Or when it is not in their favour, they reject it. This is not how the constitution works. No, 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 no. C, 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 C. The Shahzad hijab ban is violating the constitutional rights. Constitution itself. Then you support triple talaq law. Then you support triple talaq law. Did you support triple talaq law? Did you support triple talaq law? Why should? No, Who's we don't stopping support you to follow it, follow it in your mouth, follow it in the market, follow it in your house. It is against our Sharia. Who has stopped you? It is against don't our Sharia. Don't follow it in the classroom where you have to follow your uniform. Our Sharia. The state, the government has no right to interfere in anyone's religion. Then support the triple talaq law. The Why were you opposing it? The constitution gives us the right it? to follow our religion. The constitution gives us the right to follow our Sharia, and we we are doing that. The government, the state yeah, has the no right to interfere in our religion. Yeah, but the constitution doesn't allow you to give your does not allow you the right that in the name of religion you violate other people's rights. The constitution doesn't allow you in the name of religion that you think that your religion will govern this country. How, how come That's we not are the right the other people's rights? Please tell me, Mr. Sir. Please tell me how come we are violating other people's rights? Please tell me how come we are violating other people's rights? I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, Saida, there is no point getting angry. I, I want to point out here, Indrajit Lanka. One, I want to point out here that the High Court has commented at several places in the 129-page verdict on the lack of proof by the petitioners. Verdicts. And the words of the court are: the petitioners also produced some loose papers without. Head or tail, the petitioners lacked yeah. material, which means it's very important. The, the and the court said it is surprising that a matter of this significant petition should be so vague. There is no affidavit by any Maulana explaining the implications of the surahs quoted by the petitioner. You had a there a chance you, before the court; just, they couldn't make their point. End of story. They lost. If you just if you just what's read the point the complaining 129, now? One twenty nine, one twenty nine page. Judgment. Adam, it is not if you just read that 129 page order, the matter has been decided. If the whole, the whole court, argument, they have lost the whole there. argument that itself. No, no, she's just talking. No she's just story. talking in the middle. I'll just it have is, to make one point. Still First of all, they have lost the, the argument. They have gone for an appeal. They are not gone for an appeal. They have not even gone Nobody for an appeal. The they are challenging the appeal. In fact, Supreme Court has rejected saying that we will, we will just see after Holi. In fact, the Supreme Court has said no, we cannot. What They just wanted an immediate judgment, immediate order in the Supreme Court. The Supreme, Court. the Supreme Court has said, "Let's see, let's okay. come back after all." Okay, okay. okay. it's over. It's, it's over. The job issue is settled. Respect the court. And from Arnab Online, Ishika Sen says, "Dear Arnab sir, congratulations for you and dear Republic for your continuing blasting coverage of Ukraine and Russia." Thank you very much. And G D Souza says, if Putin continues the conflict, he will convert this war to another Afghanistan, and will result in him losing support in Russia. I think you're correct out there. And ladies and gentlemen, without fail, see you at nine o'clock tomorrow. Till then, only till then. Good night and goodbye. In the recent QS World Rankings 2022. Amity University's online MBA is the only one from India to be ranked in the top worldwide. Earn the confidence of recruiters with an accredited, trusted, and respected QS ranked online MBA. Get a short placement opportunities from 300 hiring partners with 2000 job openings. Reinvent your career with Amity University's online MBA.